It's the Friday afternoon news dump here in the Michigan Football Report. We're going to kind of recap the last 48 hours with Jim Harbaugh. Seems like Friday, Thursday night into Friday as we're filming this Friday afternoon, there's been some progress, and the general vibe out there seems to be that it's more likely than not that Jim Harbaugh will return to Michigan next season. But, folks, look, there's a lot of things that could happen between now and actually signing a contract, contract extension, uh, that Jim Harbaugh obviously deserves winning back-to-back Big Ten championships. So we're going to break down what's been happening over the last 48 hours, what President Santa Ono uh, did and how he got involved. It's all coming up on the Michigan Football Report from Chat Sports right now. I am your host, James Yoder. It's the Michigan Football Report. We're going to kind of take an all Harbaugh, all the time approach, say, catch you up. We haven't done an original show since our live show Monday out, College Football National Championship. I'm sure you guys saw me on Twitter, on the field, etc. Like, there's a lot of regret coming out of that trip. Uh, one, the game sucked. Two, uh, I had visions uh, when my, my meter credential got approved that I uh, take off when the clock hit zero. And I, it's me and Jim Harbaugh jumping around with Gatorade bass selfie. It didn't happen, but nevertheless, uh, that is where we are at. With more content, though, today, uh, kind of recapping what's happening. Uh, we're going to dive into the latest on the Jim Harbaugh rumors. Uh, NFL rumors have really subsided since Monday when Harbaugh, you know, he, he is so Saturday, Sunday, okay, he's going to do an interview next week with the uh, Broncos, then it turned out Tuesday morning. Well, he did it yesterday. He did a two-and-a-half-hour Zoom with the Denver Broncos, uh, and they're interviewing other candidates, Sean Payton, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to ask you guys this question before we dive into the general context of the show. Do you find Jim Harbaugh to be an honest person? And I'm going to just throw out why I'm asking this. is because... I've gone back to Jim Harbaugh doesn't seem to tweet from his own account anymore. But when Jim Harbaugh, when Michigan makes a statement through their own, uh, you know, Michigan football social media channels, Instagram, Twitter, etc., every time they make a statement on behalf of Jim Harbaugh, a year later, six months later, a month later, it turns out to be a lie, and it's proving out right now. Last year it was this is a one-time thing with the NFL. We see what happens. Hell, last Thursday, Jim Harbaugh made a statement uh, that we'll talk about here in a moment. It turned out to be a lie less than 48 hours later. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. Go down in the comments in the description. Do you find Jim Harbaugh to be an honest person? New Michigan president Santa Ono. All right, Santa is in town, baby. Uh, he put out this tweet on Thursday afternoon. He says, I'm pleased to share that I've been having positive conversations with Jim Harbaugh, with Ward Manuel, uh, and then Ward both want to see Jim Harbaugh be the head coach of the University of Michigan football. Now, earlier Thursday, he did say that I am talking to Michigan's football program and Michigan Athletic Department later today. This was the follow-up from that tweet. Then Michigan, uh, shortly after that, they quote tweet him with this, uh, this um, statement from Jim Harbaugh. I'm blind. What does it say there, Brett? Jim Harbaugh. I am in full support of President Ono's message about uh, the future of the program. And uh, I su- I'm basically saying, I support that President Ono supports me. Okay, cool. So um, that's what they put out. But what's the point? One, why isn't Jim Harbaugh putting this out from his own social media account? He's, he's only tweeted in the last four years. If someone dies, uh, it seems to be literally to go back to his tweets. It's rest in peace to this person, rest in peace uh, to that person. So that's uh, where we're shaking out here. But I want to know, what are we doing here? What is the point of these statements? It doesn't do anything to squash the rumors. Um, the second one of these NFL network guys comes out and said, hey, the Colts or the Cowboys, whoever is the next job is thinking about Jim Harbaugh, we're back to the same cycle. Last week, Jim Harbaugh made a statement, turned out to be a lie uh, moments later. And we're getting the uh, the president of the university involved here. This seems like a... Uh, a situation where, I don't know, you've got uh, a, a couple and, and they've got to go to, you know, some friend has got to counsel uh, their decisions they're making there. Jim Harbaugh, Ward Manuel can't get things worked out together, so they got to bring mommy and daddy in to solve their problems. So here's where we're at with this Ward Manuel, Jim Harbaugh relationship. Remember, they were teammates for a season back in the 80s on Michigan's football team. They don't see eye to eye on name, image, and likeness and other matters, matters which we'll talk about throughout today's show. And then um, Michigan's been pushing for a massive buyout, which I understand. They are sick of this whole every single year, uh, 30 in a row now, that we've talked about Jim Harbaugh NFL rumors. And Harbaugh, though, um, you know, well, he's got his own issues about 2020, but Board Manual, does he feel betrayed, right? Does he feel betrayed because last year Jim Harbaugh said this 
looking at the NFL, talking to the Vikings, going to interview with the Vikings on National Signing Day was a one-time thing. But here we are, nine months later, going through the same thing. So we'll talk about that more in a second. We've got more on the contract negotiations, what Jim Harbaugh has been looking for, what Michigan's been offering, and what really the sticking points are that why it's taken several weeks and hell, why Harbaugh even put out the rumors of, uh, you know, he's interested in the NFL to different sources throughout the past few weeks. Today's show is sponsored by Geology. Geology is a 16-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, GQ, and Esquire. Geology creates a simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work. Right now, for a limited time, they are hooking you up with an absolutely insane offer. Use my code chatsports70 at chatsports.com slash geology and use or use the QR code on your screen and they will give you an exclusive 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. Skincare shouldn't feel like a gamble and geology is the best in the skincare game. They help you fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles and have smoother, hydrated skin and it puts an end to dark or puffy under eyes. They take care of all of your bathroom needs. I've been using Geology's face wash in the mornings, their dark and puffy under eye cream, and then retinol night cream before going to bed, and my skin is looking and feeling great. Folks, you see this face? You think it's a mistake? No, it's all thanks to Geology. And in the shower, Geology's body wash are free of harsh ingredients, they smell great, and are refillable. So go to chatsports.com slash geology down in the comments in the description, or scan this QR code on screen and use code chatsports70. The link's down below, as we've talked about. On top of the 70% off, you'll receive an exclusive bonus offer on one of their brand new skin hair and body products of your choice when you add it to your trial this is one of the best offers you will see get it before it's gone all right let's dive into the latest jim harbaugh rumors we're going to kind of tell you where we're going here in the future and what maybe has put a stall to things or has you know, slowed the process down. Seemed like this should be an easy conversation. Back-to-back Big Ten titles, back-to-back college football playoff. Jim Harbaugh said last year, hey, I'm not interested. It's a one-time thing looking at the NFL. So before we kind of take you back in time to where we've been and where we're going, who's to blame that it got here so far? That we're sitting here after the best two-year stretch in Michigan football in 80 years, yet we're still sitting here wondering who the coach of this football team is going to be. And it's hurting recruiting again. It's certainly helping hurting NIL. Um... Some guys like Trevor Keegan, Blake Corum have come back. But if you think it's Jim Harbaugh, type JH. If you think it's Ward Manuel, type WM. And I'm sure some of you guys will say, well, it's both, like in any problem. But let me know who is more to blame in this situation. Back in time now to February of 2022, National Signing Day, uh, right around you know 11 months and two weeks, three weeks uh, ago. Uh, Jim Harbaugh put this quote out through Adam Schefter, Michigan grad. I called Ward and I asked him if he wanted me to be the head coach. He said, yes, 100%. I said, okay, then. That's what I want to do. And I told him, Ward, this will not be a recurring theme every year. This was a one-time thing. Clearly not. Clearly it was, a, you know, I talked about at the beginning of the show, do you find Jim Harbaugh honest? Well, it's a lie, right? It's not a one-time thing, right? The season wasn't, the college football season wasn't even over. And this is what we were hearing from Jim Harbaugh. Uh, he's interested in the NFL. Mich- people, Michigan blog boys, the beat writers, the guys who think they spend all their time in Shen Beckler Hall, they know it all. Jim Harbaugh likely to take a Michigan NFL job if he is offered. So going back two years, right, you guys remember 2020, two and four season for Michigan, really the, the outlier of Jim Harbaugh's career. I don't think he could hold it together during COVID and all the restrictions. Michigan's team fell apart. Guys opted out. They went in there. Jim Harbaugh had two years left in his contract. So you come out of 2020. Well, now you got a year left. Now he's a lame duck coach. And Michigan was put in a situation, well, we'll look like fools if we re-sign a two and four coach who can't beat Ohio State. Uh, but we kind of want to keep him around, so maybe we'll do this thing where an incentive-laden contract, 50% off uh, on the dollar, and that's what Jim Harbaugh said he was going to bet on himself to do. And I think now, fast forward two years, one of the great turnarounds in sports history, uh, back-to-back wins of Ohio State, college football playoff, Big Ten title. Shouldn't Jim Harbaugh say, hey, I have a bad year, I can't beat Ohio State, you dock me by 50%? Well, how about I have a good year? Do I get the 50% raise or double my pay raise? And I think Harbaugh still has bitter feelings about that. How about the Twitter sphere? Todd Anson. If you guys are Michigan football historians like I am, you've got uh, more of a memory more than a decade or so, go back uh, seven, eight years when Jim Harbaugh was becoming the coach at Michigan. Todd Anson, venture capitalist in the San Francisco Bay Area, Michigan grad, friend of Harbaugh out there, um, took care of the negotiating, back channel negotiating, and ultimately the contract for Harbaugh. He wasn't his agent, but he kind of served as his lawyer to get the contract done. He basically said this uh, a couple days ago. Folks, I've uh, I worked all of 2022 on a large 503C, so a nonprofit, basically 
Jim Namath, the winningest team to unlock the sleeping giant of Michigan is a name, image, and likeness uh, outfit. And Ward Manuel shot it down. He did not want donors saying, well, Ward, we usually donate our 25000 to the athletic department every year or two. Um, we're going to give 20 of that to this name, image, and likeness. You guys know how these things work. An administrator like Ward Manuel, a lot of his job is fundraising from popular donors. So he's putting the kibosh on it. Harbaugh's friend chimes in, and I think, that's part of the deal with Harbaugh and Ward Manuel is Harbaugh thinks he's a little bit handcuffed by Ward Manuel not supporting what other schools are doing around name, image, and likeness. Hey guys, more to talk about here in the show, but if you're liking what you see so far today and you've yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for here? We've almost 26,000 subscribers, the most watched Michigan football program on YouTube, TV, radio. They can't keep compete with us from an audience perspective. So join the fun. Subscribe to the Michigan Football Report. It's youtube.com slash Michigan TV. Also, you can send it to a friend. Just take that link which down in the comments description. Hell, screenshot this. Send it to your buddies. And join us Wednesday. Um, a lot of my programming schedule got thrown off with Michigan losing to TCU. Absolute disaster. But uh, we'll be back live. We said we do live shows for the rest of the uh, recruiting season up until signing day, which is a little over three weeks from now. So join us Wednesday, 5 o'clock Eastern, for another live show, the Michigan Football Report. I got the helmets are back in stock. We got them. So I got four or five helmets filled up with stickers. Going to do more. So if you want to get involved, have your hel your name on a helmet sticker like Mike Bla Layton, John Blaze, Wolverine, Alaska, and others. Join the live show on Wednesday. So thinking about what's going on with Ward Manual, 2020, last year Harbaugh, this year Harbaugh, and then kind of taking a look at where he's been and what's happened. It seems to me that high-level coaches don't like working with them because they leave at a higher rate than I've ever seen with an athletic director. Let's go back in time a decade uh, ago, September of 2022, three-time national championship winning head coach Ward Ma or Jim Calhoun. He only spent six months in the job with Ward Manuel before he decides to retire. But can you imagine Coach K being an assistant coach? He went on to be assistant coach in D1. I don't know, was it because of Ward Manual, because of sanctions NCA? Nevertheless, the proof is in there. He left the second Ward Manual got there. Now, 2018, Beeline talks to the Pistons. 2019, he leaves Michigan. Two-time national runner-up, national championship game twice. John Beeline, maybe the best coach in Michigan football basketball history, takes the Cavs job, doesn't even last one season. Then, this year, or last year, 2022, uh, a lot of things. Michigan's, uh, they went to the College Baseball World Series final a few years back lost in, in, thir in the third game, but they lost that head coach. Just a few years later, he went and took the Cle uh, Clemson job, Eric Bak Bacic, uh, Mel Pearson, this past year, this past fall. Goes to the Frozen Four, multiple Frozen Fours, one of the best two or three coaches in all of college football, and Ward Manuel let him go to a lame duck sass like he did almost with Jim Harbaugh after 2020, and there's some talk about them breaking COVID protocol rules and being a meanie, and so uh, it was just easier to fire him. Mel Pearson, uh, one of the better coaches, top two or three coaches in all of college football. And then Carol Hutchins, right? Only softball national championship in Michigan history. Now that's 17 years ago, but nevertheless, she retired, and maybe it was her time. She was the head coach for you know decades at that point, but she left. All happened under Ward Manuel's watch. So let me know what you guys are thinking so far on Ward Manuel grade his handling of Jim Harbaugh as a coach. You can do the whole time. This is his seventh year, uh, Ward Manuel, seventh school year as Michigan's athletic director. So let me know over the course of time, more specifically maybe these last three off seasons, what you would grade Ward Manuel's handling of Jim Harbaugh, A, B, C, D, or F. I gotta go with like C minus D plus because it's a consistent theme and everybody knew last year if they didn't put in a buyout that this was not gonna go away and clearly that's what's happened. All right, did Santa come to town and save the day? He's been on the job for less than a year, only about six months or so, and Santa Ono reportedly said, kids, I'm going to get you in a room, make you shake hands and, uh, and hug it out, and that seemed to be what happened on Thursday when he met with Ward Manuel and Jim Harbaugh to overcome these stalled negotiations. And Santa, here we go as we move forward out of the Santa Ono, Ward Manuel, Jim Harbaugh meeting is the terms of the deal. Jim Harbaugh is going to be, if they get to the deal, if they sign this thing, a consistently, it's almost like what's the NFL rule, Brett, where it's uh, like the uh, contract, like the, your franchise player. Yeah, you're making like the the tie, you're the average with the top five players your position make. That's kind of what we're putting together here. So if Nick Saban starts making 20 million, boom, Jim Harbaugh is going to get a proportional raise, take top five guys, average their salary. That's what his contract would stipulate going forward. Okay, cool. Um, Harbaugh's buy right now is $3 million. Michigan wants to be like 25 or 30, making it impossible for Harbaugh to afford it or an NFL team to want to buy out that contract. Harbaugh wants it somewhere in the middle or lower, but maybe where they'll come out is somewhere in the middle, 12 to $15 million range is what we're hearing. And then kind of a 
handshake deal. I don't think they're going to put this in writing, but the support of Santa Ono to overcome maybe some of the limitations like you saw from Todd Anson there with Ward Manual not supporting name, image, and likeness. So that's where we stand as we kind of get out of this week and into the weekend, folks. What's next? Right? What is next for Jim Harbaugh and Michigan? Now, this has not necessarily been widely reported yet, but expect there to be some news early next week of Jim Harbaugh himself meeting with NCA investigators regarding the uh, Burger Gate and then some other things. Uh, Harbaugh will reportedly uh, not admit to buying anything with uh, with recruits, commit recruits during 2020, 2021, but maybe overlooking it or misleading investigators when he was questioned on it uh, later on that maybe somebody else bought it or whatever it is, spent time, broke protocol rules, and trying to admit enough where they're not going to give him a four, five, or six-game suspension, although I do think Harbaugh likely misses one or two games at minimum next season. And then this week in the playoffs, right? The Bucks are playing the Cowboys on Monday night. Oh, the loser of that job? Does that coach get fired? I don't know. It could potentially happen. There's other jobs out there that could come open after you know every round of the NFL playoffs. It happens every single year. Uh, so if the Cowboys job comes open, is that one Jim Harbaugh would take a hard, strong, hard look at? I think absolutely. And probably he would be stupid not to. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're joining us Wednesday at 5 o'clock. And if you made it to the end of the video, folks, you are – uh, an MFer, you are uh, you know part of the the real ones, and uh, you're part of the squad. So make sure you let me know where you're watching from. Shout out your city, and I will give you guys some shout outs. So go down in the comments. Uh, let's see who's watching. If we get 10 people watch from Grand Rapids, Michigan, or something like that, I'll uh, put those on the live show on Wednesday. So shout out your city down below, and we'll be back with another Michigan football report early next week. Until then, go blue.